In a world forever changed by the first detonation of a nuclear weapon, Julius Robert Oppenheimer stood as a witness, haunted by the implications of his creation. As the famous line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita, echoed in his mind, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, Oppenheimer's journey unfolded, revealing a complex man of extraordinary intellect and talents. Chapter 1 A Brilliant Mind Oppenheimer's remarkable intellect was evident from the moment people encountered him. Speaking eight languages and with a talent for writing poetry, he possessed a gift for learning and knowledge. Raised in a wealthy family in New York City, Oppenheimer's upbringing was surrounded by art and culture, fueling his curiosity and thirst for intellectual pursuits. Chapter 2 A Passion for Physics Oppenheimer's journey into the world of physics began during his time at Harvard University. Initially drawn to chemistry, a course on thermodynamics ignited his passion for experimental physics. He continued his studies in Europe, where he realized his true talent lay in theoretical physics. However, Oppenheimer's path was not without challenges, as he battled depression and emotional instability. Chapter 3 – The Rise of Fascism in the Manhattan Project The threat of fascism in Europe during the 1930s captured Oppenheimer's attention. Aligned with Einstein's concerns, he recognized the potential for German scientists to develop a nuclear weapon. As the world watched in fear, Oppenheimer was chosen to direct the Manhattan Project, a top-secret endeavor to build the atomic bomb. Los Alamos, New Mexico, became the primary site, driven by Oppenheimer's love for the region's natural beauty. Chapter 4 – The Birth of the Atomic Bomb With an initial budget of $6,000, the Manhattan Project eventually ballooned into a staggering $2 billion investment. Oppenheimer brought together over 3,000 brilliant minds in physics, pushing the boundaries of scientific research. The project focused on harnessing the power of uranium and plutonium through nuclear fission. On July 16, 1945, the first atomic bomb was detonated successfully, forever altering the course of history. Chapter 5 – Devastation and Guilt the devastating power of the atomic bomb was unleashed upon Japan in August 1945, with the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The immense loss of life and long-term effects of radiation left Oppenheimer grappling with guilt over his creation. He recognized the weapons in humanity and the sin that scientists could never forget. Chapter 6 post-war controversies and fallout. Oppenheimer's role in shaping U.S. atomic policy continued after the war. However, suspicions about his communist affiliations arose during the Cold War era. A closed-door hearing stripped him of his security clearance, leading to his loss of influence and trust within the U.S. government. His former colleagues were outraged, while others saw this as an opportunity to settle old scores. Chapter 7 – Legacy and Reflections Despite the setbacks, Oppenheimer settled in Princeton, New Jersey, where he continued his work at the Institute for Advanced Study. He received recognition from President John F. Kennedy, and posthumously, from President Lyndon B. Johnson. Oppenheimer's complex legacy remains a reminder of the ethical and moral dilemmas surrounding scientific advancements.